Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be bringing you some Witcher 3 Wild Hunt gameplay and performance, all at glorious 4K. So, all the difference is I'll be using some mods this time around as the game is getting a little bit old, it has to be said. So, let's have a look at the settings I'm using. I'm playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160. Nvidia Hairworks is enabled at Ultra with the highest level of anti-aliasing. Um, everything else is at Ultra as you can see. I'm using a high quality texture pack which is a bit higher than the uh, vanilla. So I'll put a link to the description for all the mods and the files that I'm using. I think it's called the Rework HD Texture Pack. Motion Blur is disabled as I don't think it adds anything to the game especially when you're playing it over 60 FPS. Um, for sharpening I've got that on low as well. This doesn't have a bearing on performance it's more of a filter with um, how strong you want it to look and I believe when you put it too high it makes the game a little bit too cartoonish in my opinion everything else is enabled as you can see so the Witcher 3 what an amazing game one of my favorite games of all time it has to be said visually stunning well optimized and just an amazing amount of detail and work that went into this game especially with the uh, expansion that does added uh, so much more content to the game as well. Um, one of the best games I've ever played, it has to be said now. Um, I remember when I first played this game, I had uh, Intel i7-3770 non-K and uh, GTX 980 playing at 1080p and I was barely getting 60fps. So to be playing at 4K over 60fps with a single GPU, um, it's one of those moments where I can say I finally made it. So. I'm definitely enjoying the experience, so let's get on with the game now. I'm um, trying to stay away from the main missions, of course, so let's just see what I can do for this guy. Listen, Witcher, there's some weird diabling, you know, drowners, real problem, the kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Let me guess, they're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. They attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry, none of that comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet them, well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. So you can haggle with the price a little bit, but I'm quite intrigued, so I'll just take the job. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over, got my word on that. Okay, so I need to do a bit of investigating. One of the parts I loved a lot about The Witcher is that there's that investigation element to the game, which was a little bit missing from um, the original Witcher series. And, uh, well, it was always there, to be fair, but it wasn't as prevalent as it is in The Witcher 3, where you actually have to um, really investigate the scene of the crime to put pieces together and then move on. So let's go and have a love. Let's go and have a conversation with this lady and see what she has to say about it. Are you Tove? I was told drowners killed your husband. Then you were told right. First the sea took my son, and now my man. I'm the only one left. Kivilla, our son, he went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierad cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life. And that he could die himself. We'd heard about drowners, but he couldn't sit still. Donned his old coat and went. One night, he didn't come home. I fetched me brother, grabbed a torch, and we went looking for him. The Muera Diablin, sea fiends. They clawed him so bad, I only knew him by his coat. Small comfort, I know, but the drowner problem will soon end. I promise you that. Farewell. See, Geralt generally is not um, 
one to show compassion at least he never used to he's kind of changed a little bit if you've played all the games you can kind of see the change in him he's not one to really meddle in them politics of men and uh stays out of the elves profit um problems as well but um no matter what he does he finds himself getting dragged into it so uh now we just kind of uh I guess if something really annoys him or if there's something that's really bad, he will get involved uh, before he never used to. Okay, so I've got to speak to this guy's apprentice. He knows a little bit about the, the situation as well. I think it's that guy over here. Have a quick word. Rurik, right? Heard you were on a boat the drowners attacked. Aye, I was. With Ulf, my cousin, gathering our crab traps off the carried cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line, having a hard time of it. You know, grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full, it'll be a good haul. Then something tugged back and down. Weren't a blink and Ulf was underwater. Called after him, once, twice, thrice. Then the water went red with blood. And I smelled something horrid. Rotten, but worse. And the moir the Evelyn flipped the boat. Don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freya watching over me. That, or the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. Okay, so I've gathered enough information to kind of move out my own now. It's kind of funny how all the people in Skellige sound Irish. And uh, I guess it kind of adds the fact that they're on the continent or it's just like a different, completely different people from people from in Oxenfurt and Novigrad and Velen and um, places like that so let's just call Roach just to save a little bit of time come on Roach get your ass over here but yeah the game is still visually stunning I know the CPU usage is quite low but when you enter a town full of NPCs go, like go. Um, Oxenfer or Novigrad then things quickly change so it's good to have a CPU that's ready for anything people with uh, quad cores and um, I don't think there are any Ryzen CPUs without SMT, but if you do find yourself in that situation with just four cores, you may struggle in the, the more populated towns. Um, but generally, um, the game outside the city is quite easy to run, or quite uh, forgiving on the CPU, should I say. Oh, almost forgot to mention, it is worth definitely worth checking out the new Witcher series on the Netflix. Now, I was quite skeptical of how they would adapt the game into a series. I know the game, I know the actual Witcher series is adapted from a novel, but we all kind of draw, we draw all our kind of memories from the games in particular, in my opinion. So we're going to be doing my, most of the comparisons to the game rather than the novel. And I think uh, so far they've done a really good job of six episodes in. I don't want to give anything away, but I think they've done a really good job with it. The choreography for the fighting, the cast for Yennefer and uh, uh, Geralt in particular, even Dandelion is really, really good. Let me just take care of these drowners. Oh, I thought I killed this one. It's one cut straight through it. So, yeah, I mean, I think they've casted uh, the, the cast very well. I mean, a lot of people were complaining about, you know, the appearance of some of the cast, but you got to put acting and budget into it as well. You can't always have um, a like-for-like -like person for every character that you're going to cast. So, so far they've done good. Siri, Drowners for sure. Siri's been casted be pretty good as well, and most of the elves that I've seen. So, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm definitely enjoying it so far. The only issue I have, there's only eight episodes, so that kind of sucks. But apart from that, it looks really, really good. So there is a stench that I need to follow. Hmm. Let's have a look around. So for those of you who don't know, Geralt is a witcher which essentially is a mutant that's been uh, mutated to have uh, special abilities like brilliant sight, brilliant sense of smell, brilliant hearing, and um, really, really quick reflexes. Um, which ultimately does make him a really, really dangerous person. So, uh, I'm just going to follow this this smell. 
Don't know where it goes. Let's keep swimming this way. But I'm very, very happy with the performance of the game. With uh, my system at the moment. Easily doing 60 frames per second, which wasn't always the case. Um, let's quickly try running up here. Yeah, just about got up. There's another investigative zone. Let's see what's going Perhaps on over here. Must be near the fishing ground Ruick mentioned. That stench. Drowners for sure. Where must be nearby. So there's got to be a layer around here somewhere. You kind of got to follow this red mist. It's kind of the. It's basically a manifestation of Geralt's uh, sense of smell. So you can kind of follow it to where it leads and it seems like it leads to that cave so let's go to swim straight in shall we yeah this is stench again slime and rotting flesh Yeah, it's got to be in here. There's uh, a body there, I think. Yep, this is definitely where it's going down. That's a show. A pelvis. Scratched up. Long, wide claw marks. Okay, so there's a lot of toxic mist over there. You can protect yourself by using Quen if I Igni or Quen. Actually, yeah, it's Quen. Or you can use Igni to kind of ignite all the gas and then it makes you safe for a little bit. And it's probably best to use Quen. The footprints leading back this way. Human bones. Unbroken, but the marrow has been sucked out. Need a long, thin tongue for that. Yeah, that's disgusting. Um, so yeah, I want to head back. Because of the footprints are going this way, you may as well use Quinn again just to protect myself. Uh, more drowners. Okay, drowners are particularly weak to Igni. And I'm using a particle um, modification, so you should kind of see a very, very intense Igni when I use it does kind of affect performance quite a bit though, so yeah, that does. So this is what, what I mentioned earlier, you can ignite gas around you. They weren't really too challenging. I think there's one more left over there somewhere. <laughs> so yeah, you can ignite the gas, but um, you're only safe for a few seconds before it uh, starts coming again. So there is something over here, but it's not showing itself. So let's just move on. A monster's Blood lair, here. but definitely not a drowner's. Bruises on his neck, crushed larynx, strangled. Yeah, there's a lot of bodies around here. I'm gonna drink some potion because my health is getting quite low. The potions that the witches drink are m mainly fatal to uh, humans because the level of toxicity is way above what a normal human could handle, but due to their mutations, they can handle it. Bits of boats, torn sails, lines, sailing decor, you could call it. Okay. Okay. I wonder if I can burn that. Possibly. Maybe there's some more clues in here. Let's just burn that with Igni and see what happens. Nothing. Another body. 
Bruises on his neck, crushed larynx, strangled. Still Almost untouched, hidden for later. Drowners just don't do that. That stench, the marks on the bodies. This must be a water hag's lair. Got a keen okay. sense of smell. She won't come back while I'm here, unless she coexists with drowners. Maybe I could make an extract from their glands, cover up my scent. Okay, so I gotta prepare this potion. So. Pretty sure I've got one already prepared, but I'm just gonna make another one anyway, just in case. We just go to alchemy, go down to potions, and uh, we can make this concoction that's necessary. Okay, that's all done. Make sure that's attached, and uh, we're good to go. Okay, that will do it. That should do it. Now for a place to hide and wait behind those boats. Okay, let's do it. Okay, it's time to take this thing out. Okay, now it's just me and you. <laughs> Pretty strong. No match for me though. Collect our monster remains. Okay, that take care of the water hack. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's complete this mission, shall we? It's kind of almost upsetting that there's never going to be another Witcher 3, another Witcher game, because they've actually completed uh, the novel, but um, it would really be nice to, I don't know, maybe a, rema a remake of number one with uh, updated graphics, that could be interesting, I wouldn't be, I'll definitely buy it, and uh, I think uh, they did well with the game. On the whole, Witcher 2, I really enjoyed Witcher 2. Witcher 3, the best out of the lot, but number one, I think it was good for the time. But of course, um, with the dated graphics, it's kind of hard for people who've missed it to enjoy it as much. So a remake would be nice. Let me just call Roach and uh, get back to town. But yeah, nice, very nice. Finally played the Let's game go. at. Uh, 4K 60 FPS, no compromise on the quality, it's just an amazing game. Some games um, play well at 60 FPS uh, or high resolutions. Um, this game, it's not one of those games that you need a really, really high refresh rate to enjoy. You can just enjoy all the detail. Um, with a game like this at 4K, it really does stand out. Put the sword away as I don't need it. I head back into town now. A little bit hard to navigate through all of these trees. We're back on the road now anyway, so that's better. Faster. Alright, back to civilization.
We just got a good news. Job's done. Here's the proof. Now, why would I want to see? What the devil is that? Water hag, an old clever one. She was the danger. Seen a lot of ugly critters in me life. Mores, lampreys, blobfish. But never nothing like this. Your award. Well earned, Witcher. Well earned. Thanks. So long. So that is the contract done. So I just want to give you guys a good look at Witcher 3 at 4K, 60 FPS or more. And uh, I've definitely enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.